Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Luca but you can call me Pablo. You can also find me on Instagram by the name Maps of Pablo. So show some love. Bitbir is over and we have the winner and representative for Ukraine 2022. I was watching the show and I really liked the song called Stefania. That was a great performance. I'm actually glad that song called Girls 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 didn't win because it was just not Ukrainian vibe. I really really like Ukrainian at Eurovision. It always brings something new, something different. And of course one of my favorite entries was Wild Dances by Ruslana. I was like nine years old then and I was obsessed with that song and actually that was the first Eurovision that I ever watched. So let's see with what Ukraine came up this year and let's do the reaction to the full performance. If you want to see my reaction, stay with me. <laughs> that was the singing of Jamala's song. <laughs> So her name is Alina Pash and the song is called The Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors. There's also a movie from 1965, it has the same name as this song and it covers the same theme. So Alina is singing about the Ukrainian history and we can also see that from the, from the name of the song. She sings about the long, long history of war in her country and all the struggles that the country went through. She's also singing about Slavic culture because she mentions the ancient gods called Perun and Dashbok who saved the locals. I have to admit that I'm not so familiar with Ukrainian history that well, so please write me down in the comments below. Tell me more about the song. I really want to know what she actually talks about. <laughs> this is so, 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 so good. I don't know if she's imitating some kind of animal. I love the cat. Look at this outfit, You can hear the big impact of Slavic culture and I really like that it's in Ukrainian language. It is very similar to Serbian as well and I love this staging with the eyes and with her face in the background. say the same way, moi it voi, which means like mine and yours. She's talking about her ancestors and singing about the past. I love it! I heard from these English parts that lyrics is very very strong and I can't wait to translate it. I really like how they are using clothes and these costumes that are very specific for Slavic cultures and also in the background we can see that she's using Cyrillic letters. I can understand them and it's very visually pleasing to me. I find it very eternal yet very very interesting. <laughs> I'm a girl from a small town. My folks are best described in writings of Juma. One for all and all for one. Nowadays, time to go to freedom, the divine tragedy. But we need Picasso's though, it's the divine strategy. In my job, girls play with toy dolls, but I wrote these words here. Cause my favorite toy was a book of Shakespeare. Just like the brothers were in my Libra, I can feel to me. Remember your ancestors, the rest of all history. That was so strong. And you can really see the emotion in her eyes while she while she says that. She, very strong. I like it. When I first heard it, I thought it was like a little bit weird to have a speech part in the song, but now I think it's amazing. <laughs> Whoa, oh, 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 oh. 
mixture of her vocal and the background vocals who are singing the chorus and she's singing these high notes and she does it very well. I like how she changed the note in the end. She was punching the wall. She has the full performance. This is literally a concept and I like it and I think it's going to do very well. The visual, how, how they're using the images of their ancestors. If you ask me, this performance is mostly complete, but I know that they will probably even upgrade it uh, for the Eurovision stage. If you ask me, this would definitely go in my top three at the moment. I'm waiting for other songs. Let me know down in the comments below what you want me to react to and how do you like this song. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on Instagram as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Ciao!